Hi everyone. Uh, thanks for stopping by on my channel. Uh, today I would like to speak about, especially for guys over 50, 55, 60, and even older, okay? I want to speak about fast twitch muscle fibers, okay? What these are, okay, when we're younger, sprinters, uh, basketball players that jump real high, uh, power lifters, you know, like when they do a clean jerk, they use fast muscle twitch, fast muscle twitch fibers. We have two kind of fibers. We have fast twitch and slow twitch. Slow twitch is for the long distance runners, stamina, okay, and fast twitch is for explosiveness, power. Okay, so this is what I want to speak about today, which is extremely important as we get older for the aging process. These fibers. I've not talked about so much, but they are extremely important for slowing down the aging process, okay? These muscle fibers, okay, is what makes us lean, the, 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 the fast twitch I'm talking about, which are also called type 2. The slow twitch is called type 1 also. So if you see it in writing, in studies, type 1 is slow twitch, type 2 is fast twitch, okay? Th this is what keeps us lean, Defined, athletic. However, what happens is after we reach the age of 30, right, uh, we start be, we begin to lose muscle mass and including the fast twitch fibers, okay, we lose about a, a third of a pound. I'm not sure exactly, but somewhere around a third of a pound every year after the age of 30 if you don't take care of yourself, okay. And our muscles lose strength as we age also. And their ability to generate force diminishes, especially when we reach the age of 50. We get even weaker. It's crazy, okay? As we age, they also lose, our muscles lose the number and the quality of mitochondria. Mitochondria, the powerhouse of all our cells, okay? This is what creates energy, ATP, okay? When, you know, muscle, um, mitochondrial dysfunction is a, a major hallmark of aging, okay, according to scientists. So if you can keep the mitochondria healthy, you can slow down aging, okay. Typically, people lift heavy weights when they're younger. They lift he heavy weights with explosive movements to train their fast twitch fibers. The problem is when we get older, this becomes a little harder, okay. Our central nervous system, okay, requires more recovery time between sessions of heavy lifting. Okay, it's not, we can't recover like we were in, the, in our 20s, okay, especially when you're 60. You can't go lift heavy and think that you're going to recover the next day. Guys my age, you know how that, you know how that is, okay, and then the joints, the joints can't handle the wear and tear, okay, what you're going to do, you're going to hurt your joints. You have to be smart when you train, especially when you're over 50. You have nothing to prove. There's nothing to prove about having huge muscles, that, that means nothing. We get off. That doesn't make you live longer. Gigantic muscles don't make you live longer. I mean, anyone can get big. They eat a lot, you know, eat a lot of protein and, and lift. They're going to get big. But it's, it's, it doesn't make you age. It doesn't slow down your aging. Okay? So I, I don't do this. Okay? I just train to stay healthy and to slow down my, tra my, my aging process. Okay? Okay. And also, when you lift heavy, it doesn't stimulate... Heavy lifting does not stimulate your mitochondria, okay? Okay, which, which mitochondria is important for, for health and performance. Okay, when we lose this, everything falls down, everything diminishes, okay? <clears throat> loss, let me, okay, let me show you. Training to minimize the loss of fast twitch fibers is extremely vital to slow the aging process, okay? With this in mind, I made a quick video, okay, of some of the called plyometrics. Okay, plyometrics is what trains your fast twitch fibers. Plyometrics, are incredible. Okay, I, I when I was younger, I I used them, and now I, I do them also. I just made a quick video of some of the exercises I do to to keep my fast twitch fibers healthy. Okay, I. I don't have the same fast twitch fibers as I did in my 20s. However, I, I, 
I'm trying to slow the process of losing them. I don't, I don't want to lose my best switch fibers, okay? And plyometrics is an incredible exercise. You don't need to do heavy lifting explosiveness. You don't need to do this, okay? All you have to do is plyometrics. You start slow, and then as you get better, you do more. You do more. Whatever. You have to listen to your body, okay? So with this said, I hope you enjoyed the video, and... Um, let me know in the comments what you do to maintain your, your the fast switch fibers because the fast switch fibers are very important for motor skills, mobility, okay? I mean, if you get all the... We lose this. We lose this. Uh, you, we lose our reflexes. Fast switch fibers are important for reflexes, speed, power movements. When we lose these... When we get older, we get prone to what's called sarcopenia. Uh, we can't move as fast. That's why we move slower. You know, uh, everything slows down. But if you keep healthy muscle twitch, fast muscle twitch fibers, you're going to move youthfully. You're going to move young. And it also helps your mitochondria. So here's the video. I hope you like it. Have a great day. And I'll see you again in my next video. Stay young. Stay healthy. Always, baby. Today's Take April care. 26, 2022. It's raining, but nothing stops. Working out in the rain when it's cold gives you what's called hormesis. Hormesis is like low-intensity extra stress on your body, which is good for lifespan and health span. I am, today I am training, as we get older, we lose our fast twitch fibers. You know, that's the explosiveness, we lose this. So I'm gonna show you a little training I do for the older guys, over 50 plus, 55, 60, how to keep the, the fast twitch fibers strong so you maintain health of your joints, your hips, because a lot of older guys have problems with their knees, hips. So these, these are some of the workouts. You don't have to do exactly, when you begin, don't do exactly what I'm doing. Start off slow. But I'm going to show you the principles. Okay, this is what I do. This is just some of the exercises I do for my, for my joints and fast switch fibers and agility. Agility. The movement. Here we go. This is just some of it. One leg. This leg. Start from here. So you can see. That's that's the side. It gets the movement going. Oh, plyometrics. Okay. Jump up. As soon as you hit the floor, you go back up. Explosive. Explosive. Go for the fast switch fibers. This one here is good for agility. You're going to do one leg hops around a piece of wood or something you put on the floor. Each leg, okay? Stand on one leg and just hop. Like 
in the other lane. That's good for agility. Yeah, you don't have to start this. I don't forget. As we get older, we have to build. We got to keep our fast twitch fibers because we. That's what. That's what weakens us. That's what weakens our muscles. So start off low and build up to high. Remember, explosive. Okay, let me show you. I'm gonna try this one here. Okay. Don't run. You just hop. Hop. Okay. Like that, okay? Back down. One more time. That's good for fast switch fibers. They keep those muscles strong as we get older. Stay young, gentlemen. Stay young. That's the objective. Don't let age get to us.